All right, remember, friends, if you enjoy my outrage content, consider donating to the stream. It keeps my editor from uh, having to sit out in the cold. All right, I have no idea when this starts, so we're going to kind of fish through this. Good call in at 9 minutes and 30 seconds. What? Okay. I don't know why you would think that. Who is this? Um, I don't actually think this is you because you're still typing in my chat. No, I'm not. What are you talking about? She's just dodging BG. That was like 20 seconds ago. You sound like a, a fan that's getting really excited because you're talking to your favorite streamer. Do you really think that? Yeah. You're like on bated breath. You're like, you like on that. bated like breath. Yeah. It sounds like you're like tight chested, you know, you're a little nervous. Have you ever heard me talk before? Yes. You have. Where? Yeah. What do you mean where? We've talked before. When did we talk besides now? I don't get it. I think we talked like a year ago, didn't we? No. Are you yeah, confused? Yeah, we did. Yeah. We had this super no, long didn't. conversation while I was balls deep in your mom, fucking her hard, okay? While I was railing your entire family and you're in the corner okay, crying. Okay, can I, That's can I the ask the question now died. before you uh, cry? Before I cry? Yeah, my one question that you would refuse to answer in the chat was... Look, I don't necessarily buy into this dark triad bullshit, but, like, dear God, that flat delivery is something else. Cold cruelty is, a uh, is, is weird to see. Kind of like, bleh. Um, oh, hold on, just so chat knows, this is not Tyler. Of, uh, this isn't Tyler, this is Nick Too Bad for you. I don't know what this is. Is this the religion thing? Okay, so what denomination of Christianity do you follow that allows flirt? <laughs> oh, it is. There you go. Green outside your marriage. Oh Please wow. Answer. Um. So, do you think the Moonies allow you flirting outside your marriage? You could be one of those. I think that the only power no, I, in like authority I'm comes you from denomination. What denomination. Well, you specifically said that most Christians would agree with you, so I'm just wondering. About flirting? I think I explicitly said most Christians would not agree with me on that. I think I literally say that I call myself that most Christians would call me a heretic. Are you retarded? So, if most Christians wouldn't agree with you, would you think that that's not a very... Are you retarded? Aspiring child therapist, by the way. Christianly thing that you're doing? No, because I don't appeal con to consensus for what's, like, moral and ethical according to God. So, what you're saying Thank is... fuck! Because neither did Jesus, by the way. In the Bible... No, actually, slow down, cowboy. Jesus is the one who said, if you even have lustful thoughts about a person, you're guilty of adultery. I don't know why she bothers with this, like, like being, like, being nominally Christian gives her any kind of, like, political advantage. She clearly doesn't give a shit. Like, it, it doesn't, it, that runs directly contrary. Like, di like, this is one of the most explicit, incontrovertible, in incontroversial things about Christian teaching. Is that you're not even supposed to think. You're not even supposed to, for, forget, like, flirting. Forget, like, extramarital relationships. You're not even supposed to think lustful thoughts. You can't even go, like, ooh. You, like, you can't even do that at a subconscious level. You have to, like, only see facial features and have no sexual attraction whatsoever. That's basically it. Well, actually, says it doesn't matter what you feel like you need to make up. And that's, that's Christianity, Are you a fundamentalist? Too. I mean, I don't make stuff up, necessarily. I mean, even the most liberal Christians would have an issue with this. Like, the most liberal ones. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what this is. So, the Moonies. Um, I'll show you what I mean when I'm talking about that. So, there's a church called the Unification Church by uh, Sung Myung Moon. Um, I think it comes out of, uh, yeah, it comes out of South Korea. And, uh, basically, they had a different approach to uh, sex and relationships than most of Christian cults did. Uh, most Christian sects did rather, um, and it was uh, it was not entirely uncommon for people to uh, for members to use sexual access as a part of proselytization. Um, so they had a different attitude, obviously, towards like marital exclusivity than virtually every other Christian group out there. Um, but I don't think, I don't think not so erudite is a Mooney. I think not so erudite is just kind of a lying shithead. Right? Didn't Where you in just the, exactly say that... in the Bible does it talk about flirting? 
Can I finish a sentence before you cut me off? Sorry. I forgot. The Bible is a talk about flirting. Okay. okay. It, it, it is so restrictive it doesn't even get to flirting. You know what? I'll just, I'll just Google it. That'll be faster. Matthew 5, 28. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Colossians 3.5 Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. 2 Timothy So flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness. There's no, um... Proverbs 6.25 Old Testament now. Do not desire her beauty in your heart and do not, her, do, not, do not let her capture you with her eyelashes. God, the pollen is just murdering me tonight. Look, point is, there is no talk of flirting whatsoever in the Bible because to flirt you need to actually have sexual attraction in the first place and uh, it's pretty unequivocal to to an almost a, actually to a pretty absurd degree I don't know why you would even defend this this is such a weird hill to die on I know you're a little excited but anyways um, my question is if lustful thoughts for men are fine oh we, we, we that's like we can't even cognize that just poof, okay Men who lie with mankind as with womankind are an abomination, remember? Most people that are Christians wouldn't agree with flirting outside the marriage. And 99.99% of priests and so, so on and so forth. What makes uh, your belief that Christianity would allow flirting outside your marriage? Uh, because I think like flirting is like a necessary and like fundamental part of human life. No, no, just no that's not the question. It. The question is what makes... Yeah, but that's one of the contradictions between Christianity and like the human condition. That's not an argument in favor of Christianity condoning this. One of the major problems with Christianity is that it is uh, directly hostile to essential elements of the human condition. Uh, this is this is not this is not an argument. You believe that that would be approved by the church if you specifically said a majority of the people in the church wouldn't approve it. So again, I don't need... You don't need sexual attraction to flirt. Ace people flirt sometimes. Okay, well, in that case, you're uh, provoking other people to sin then. I, I don't think that particularly matters. Also, flirting is a sexual activity, right? So you're using asexual in a very particular way this way. You're not talking about asexuality as in completely devoid of sexual attraction or sexual characteristics, etc. Your your sexual psychological characteristics. You're literally just saying someone who doesn't have sex is flirting. Because that's that's not asexual. Flirting is is not an asexual act. Asexual people can flirt. There isn't a contradiction there, but like that's weird. I need to be approved by the church. I only need to make sure that I'm like g right in my walk with God. Right? So are you, are you saying that anybody can make up a rule and then uh, attribute it to Christianity? Is that what you're saying? Uh, nope. Try again. So is the f so you're saying the flirting is not Christianity? It's a, it's a thing that you do that you believe that's a part of Christianity, even though a majority of Christians would not believe it. A majority of Christians it. rejected Jesus. Are you kidding? Serious. What is flirting? Who says that flirting is sexual? What is flirting? What distinguishes flirting from any other kind of banter? Think me. What the fuck are you talking about? It's you okay can, to flirt okay, wouldn't say, be a rule. Where exactly would you expect that law to be like thrown? Would it be like Leviticus, like 21? That Matthew, actually. Gospel of Matthew by Jesus. If you even look at a woman with lustful intent, uh, you are committing adultery in your heart. Thou shalt flirt some um, of the times as no, long it's, as it's no touchy-touchy. Like, what the, what the fuck are you talking about? Have you heard of the Ten Commandments in adultery? Do you know what adultery is? It's not just touching somebody. Yeah, okay, why don't you tell me what adultery was? All right, serious. Call in and yell at me about this. Was. Two dollars from time Tyler. Written, Do you, God I haven't picked on you in a while. Do you really like need me camera. to, to define it for you? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look it up. So yeah, I'll give you the right... I missed the best line. Where was the best line? Brooks, don't just tell me I missed the best line. God. I swear to God, all my friends hate me. Definition. Ready? Yes. Dun, 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 dun. All right, serious. Come on stream and correct my retrograde attitudes towards flirting. Dude, go back, Mr. Ba go back where? Just to the beginning of the conversation? I can't, I don't know what to do with just go back. 
What the hell is this content? This is Sunday is underslept content. What the fuck are you talking about? Have you heard of the Ten Commandments? Robert, we're doing a management of savagery on Sunday, by the way. And adultery. Do you know what adultery is? It's not just touching somebody. Yeah, okay, why don't you tell me what adultery was? Two dollars from time Tyler. Was do you, Your God doesn't do you really like your camera. To, to I'm just you? saying. I cannot call in right now. I'm cooking. I'm also not ace. It doesn't matter if you're not ace. It doesn't matter if you're ace or not. I'm not ace. Like, you're still giving a take on it. I'm sorry, we're not doing any of this standpoint epistemology BS. It's not how we do here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look it up. So yeah, I'll give you the right definition. You can flirt without intent. No, you can flirt without intent, but the definition of flirting is involves something to do with romance and sexuality. Definition. Ready? Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Sexual contact between a married person and a person who is or not his spouse. What do you think sexual contact is? Do you think flirting is sexual contact? I don't know what flirting you do. do you, it's sexual engagement, absolutely. Do you flirt with your uh, friends that you're not trying to get with? Yes. Wait, what? Oh, look, look at Wikipedia. Okay, the universally, uh, the universally valid source. Boom, 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 boom. Flirting or coquetry is a social and sexual behavior involving body language or spoken or written communication between humans that is used to suggest interest in a deeper relationship with another person and for amusement. Purpose, according to social anthropologist Kate Fox, which doesn't mean anything because this is one person, I don't know why you bother with this. There are two main types of flirting, flirting for fun and flirting with further intent. In a 2014 review, sociologist David Henningsen identified six main motivations for flirting. Sex, relational development, exploration, fun, self-esteem, and as a means to an end. So the point I would say here is that while an asexual person can absolutely flirt, the act of flirting intrinsically intrudes upon the sexual in some way. And so far as it intrudes upon the romantic, and so far as the romantic involves the sexual, etc., etc. There isn't like a direct sexualization of the person by it, but the activity is intrinsically sexual. Makes sense? Well, my sole opposition on this point is unwilling to come on stream because they are cooking apparently, so I am allowed to cook unimpeded. That is how it works. I feel so weird as like a thoroughly secular person having a better grasp on this than the person who is religious for clout has. You do. Yes. You're okay. flirting with me right now half the time. What are you talking about? What? Are you delusional? Yes. Yes, she is. She's quite delusional. No. Yeah. Anytime we like tease back and forth, even though you genuinely don't like me, we've also been a little bit teasy back and forth, which is fucking flirting. It's fine. No, no. Teasing isn't flirting. Otherwise, all teasing would be flirting. It's not well, that big of a deal. All I've done is ask you about your uh, hypocrisy, and then you just change the subject. <laughs> Are they cooking poop? Are they cooking? Are they cooking poop in preparation for eating it? Eudaimonia and uh, Sirius have a little feud going on right now. About something else? Uh, no, I've like mostly engaged. I've like trolled on you a little bit, the, the um, one and then I said I don't appeal to the consensus. So you asked me, you asked me specifically about a denomination. I didn't give you. You don't appeal to the Bible either. I'm not entirely sure what exactly what benefit she gets from identifying as Christian. I really don't. I don't know if it's like. Uh, if she thinks it gets her points with the religious crowd, which it absolutely doesn't. Like, if you if you think, like, your affiliation with Destiny is getting you any points whatsoever with Christians, you're very, very mistaken. If you think it's getting you uh, any points with, um... If you think, like, your open relationship is getting any points with Christians of any stripe, you're very mistaken. Like, I, I just don't, I just don't get it. Like, it's obvious she, she places literally no value on this. Um... So I don't, I don't know. It's weird. You won because I said most people would think it's heretical. Um, then you asked me if I disagree with the majority of the church, and I said yes. Uh, and then you said, so you just okay. reject the church, and I said uh, no. So I just don't appeal to, to the for church second. for authority, for moral authority, because I'm not like Catholic, right? Are you so Catholic? So you're saying that a person that's Christian doesn't need authority from the church to actually add or change things that the Bible would mean or say through its stories. You can add and change things. So if I was if I was to say between me and God killing somebody 
is part of my religion and it's Christianity. Would that work? Okay. Answer the question. Know. I don't know how to st I don't know how to start you. Nobody is changing the Bible. Uh, yes, where, you are. Where where exactly have I said it's actually right here? Have you actually verse, read the Bible? Shalt. Okay, but if you're ignoring the Bible, then by implication you're changing its priority like with respect to what qualifies as like a an appropriately Christian belief or whatnot. No? Yes, I suspect have you, heard you haven't. you the term uh, coveting thy neighbor? I'm actually Orthodox Jewish, but I've studied Christianity. Um, but regardless, uh, <laughs> you've heard of the term coveting thy neighbor. Yes, I've heard of the term coveting thy neighbor. Okay. And what does that mean to you? That means, um, I mean, it means mostly it's talking about jealousy. So talking typically in Old Testament, it was specifically talking about like material goods. What does it mean? It doesn't mean jealousy. Try again. It, it's like a form of greed where you're wanting people's like items and, and, and why is it bad to want somebody because you're married, especially when they cover their neighbor. So the question is, um, there's a very, uh, there's a very easy, uh, case in point for this. King David coveted one of his, uh, soldiers wives sent him to war. He got killed and then slept with his wife while he was gone. And as a consequence of this, he was not able to uh, build the temple because he had too much blood on his hands among other things, right? Like this is a, this is a very, very old principle. Flirting is, if you say sexual, you will uh, flirt with your neighbor, but that's you directly you against flirt. what the Bible says. So, so you how, does, realize, how, do, how do you reconcile those two things? You realize that you can flirt without coveting your neighbor's wife, right? Like for example, you and I have flirted a little bit. Do you think that I actually want to jump your bones? I don't I don't know where you're thinking anyone's flirting with you. It's really strange you keep saying that. It's not that strange. It's just super normal. I mean, is every flirting. conversation you have with the okay. guy flirting? No, but a lot of conversations that turn like super, super light and playful tends to become flirty. Yeah. Okay. So, regardless, can we stop getting off track? Do you think track? all just flirting just know. has to end in sex? Like, do you think flirting is sexual? No, but if you're flirting, you're inviting sexual attraction and sexual engagement, right? So, Exodus 2017. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his male servant or his female servant or his ox or his donkey. That's probably what covers erudite here. Or anything that is your neighbor's, etc., etc. If you're flirting with someone... You're enticing them to covet, right? You're actually doing one of the absolute worst things you can do in light of uh, New Testament ethics, which is you are provoking other people to sin. Well, contact, because I would agree, if I was going around and fucking a lot of men, that would probably be a problem between Nick and I. But that's not what's happening. Let's be real, that would not be a problem between Nick and you. That'd be a problem for Nick, and he'd have to decide as to uh, how far he'd be willing to stick around, because he is absolutely not successfully telling you to stop. Right? Well, I'll give you an example. Do you think... Ex-husband? No, current husband. Uh, a person that's straight flirts with guys? Uh, not typically, because there's typically no sexual tension. Ooh, see, that's a problem, because now you've just directly sexualized flirting, right? Incidentally, some straight guys do flirt with guys. For reasons that are not based on intent to pursue a sexual relationship. Sometimes, for example, to play along with a gay friend or a bisexual friend who is himself flirting. It'll be a part of banter or something. Um, the activity is still sexual, but there's a, there's a wall there, right? Something like that. Oh, so it is partially sexual when you flirt. Boom, boom, she's dead. It's over. Uh, it can be. No, no, it is. You said that the condition of it being flirting was that there is sexual tension. That's a direct implication of what you just said. What? It, you see you see how your hypocrisy winds itself into a loop and then you what have is, to You the tangled webs we weave. Was this hypocrisy? Change, whatever. Yeah, you got because me, you said Also you make said, sure you announce that you've won a bunch. I think that'll really convince people. I don't understand why you uh 
keep going to like these weird things that I'm not doing. Well, regardless. the issue is that um, your definition of flirting seems to have moved around a fair bit. Your definition of uh, no, adultery is moved around. Your definition of, of, definition was of adultery was is, sexual contact. And then I was like, well, is flirting sexual I mean, contact? And you're like, is communication contact, by the way, uh, editor? Like, <laughs> oh, you're not going to, you're not going to listen? I'm listening. I just, you keep cutting me off every two seconds. Yeah. So, like in a heated conversation, we can cut each other off. Working on being That's less white. But you're yelling at me. Your definition of flirting keeps changing. I've said from the beginning it's inherently sexual. You just admitted that a guy that's not gay wouldn't I'm flirt with men, and you admitted there's white. sexual tension in flirting. And then you also say that you know. Do you think this pimento and cheese sandwich on whole wheat is fairly sensual? I've been looking for pimento cheese in Canada, and you can't fucking find it anywhere. And I'm mad because I watched, I watched Breaking Bad, and I wanted to try that can't find it anywhere can't find pimentos either like i'm i'm tempted to resort to pulling out the pimento stuffings from olives How do you sexual neighbor? tension is sexual touching uh, i'm gonna I start working on thought. being less Please. white do you i'm just super curious i love she has the sparsest bookshelf for someone who's trying to pretend to be an academic like dear god i didn't say it was Okay, so then what? I'm sorry, I'm not understanding how you personally I'm care about start flirting at all. On being if less if adultery in your mind is sexual touching, because we were talking about kiverting, uh, verting that neighbor, which has nothing to do with adultery. I'm start even though being less white. White. Do you agree with me that there are two different things? Actually, oh, so your neighbor. say it again because I actually had a, an alert. I'm going to start <laughs> working on being less. Turn your white. alerts off, Jesus. Do you agree that adultery and kiverting thy neighbor is Two different things. Uh, probably. I'm gonna start yeah. working on being less white. Okay. Pimento cheese means spicy cheese. Not exactly. So pimento cheese is like a, it's like a cream cheese mixed with cheddar shreds, sh cheddar shreds mixed with shredded cheddar mixed with pimento peppers in like a food processor or something. I think there's other stuff to it as well. But you like use this like a thick sandwich filling, sort of like the way you'd have like an egg salad sandwich. You just have like that layer, and it looks fantastic. I'm really, I really want to try it. And then, um. I give you a hint, adultery is an action, and the other one's not. But okay. the Bible says they're both wrong. Is that a ninja octopus up in the corner there? She has one of my people captive. Look, you can see this. This will not stand. Right up here. That, I believe, is a ninja octopus. She holds one of our own as a prisoner. Surrender the squid, Kyla. Okay, so you're talking about sin. Are you just trying to like stretch? So now you're taking adultery, which you got from the Bible, no. and now you're stretching it yourself. No, the point I make. Twelve thirty from the Twitch live stream. Okay, where are we at now? We're at um, nineteen ten. All right, this better be good. Right in my walk with God. Okay, apparently this is the best line. Right? So, are you, are you saying that anybody can make up a rule and then uh, attribute it to Christianity? Is that what you're saying? Uh, nope. Try again. So, is the so you're saying the flirting is not Christianity? It's a, it's a thing that you do that you believe. This is a download of the Twitch live stream, so it is here. That's a part of Christianity, even though a majority of Christians would not believe it. A majority of Christians it. rejected Jesus. Are you kidding me? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh. It just hit. Let's hear that one more time. Let's hear that one more time. Majority of the people in the church wouldn't approve it. So again, I don't need to be approved by the church. I only do. Right. So Where in the, exactly that... in the Bible does it talk about flirting? Okay, hang on, hang on. We gotta, we gotta get this again, right? This is worth it. Is that what you're saying? Uh, nope. Try again. So is the so you're saying the flirting is not Christianity? It's a, it's a thing that you do that you believe that's a part of Christianity, even though a majority of Christians would not believe it. A majority of Christians it. rejected Jesus. Are you kidding me? What the fuck are you talking about? A majority of Christians rejected Jesus. She meant Jews, but she also didn't because she was asked specifically about the opinions of Christians about this. So. She didn't mean Jews either. Um, what we can derive from this is that Natsa Erudite's brain is made of cottage cheese. 
No, the point I'm making is that the Bible directly says through not just those two things about adultery and thy neighbor, but through the many stories in the Bible that going outside of your marriage to do anything that's even remotely sexual, and even if it's sexual tension, is wrong. It says it directly in the thing, but you it say just, just that doesn't. your... It just doesn't. It, it just literally do doesn't. Not. And most importantly, I'm not a fundamentalist. Are you a fundamentalist? Right. But if you let me finish, the point I'm making I is don't that need to let you, fin- you like, have made up need- a So there thing has to be a conversational back and forth, and I need you to stop crying every single time that I like jump in to have a back and forth. You say well, something- you Look, the majority of Hindus reject Hindu. Well, address like what I'm actually in- saying. You just keep I- jumping in and changing it. What do you feel I haven't addressed? The point you haven't addressed is that you have decided to make up this rule and you're when musli died on the cross the majority of muslims rejected his teachings or head that i've you not made up a rule outside. i've hey, literally never made sentence? up a rule i'm not going to let you finish a sentence when part of your question that you're asking is throwing in a bunch of extra stuff that hasn't occurred right okay like i I'm haven't okay. said well, the bible hey, explicitly says uh, that flirting's okay it's right there in matthew flirting is you, evil you're making up evil. a rule just to be clear, the that's I your made-up rule. Flirting is evil. Flirting is the same thing as coveting. That's what you're trying to say. No, flirting isn't the same thing as coveting, but flirting absolutely entices people into a situ- into a uh, behavior in which they are coveting. It entices people to covet, yes? It, it, it's, it's directly sending... It, like Flirting is an inherently sexual act, even if the participants themselves are asexual. That's literally what distinguishes flirting from other kinds of banter. Sunday, did you know that the majority of Zoroastrians reject Zoroaster? Got a better one for you. Um, the majority of uh, Scientologists reject the teachings of uh, Scientologatha. To covet means to want something, right? And all reject the teachings of the one true God, be a McCoytek. I can That's what you speak, said. that'd be great. Okay, I need you to no. stop crying. Yes, no. you can. The speak. thing is that I need you to stop crying. I'm, I am upset with you about it. I want to be a therapist. I need you to stop crying, you pathetic worm. You pathetic, retarded worm. I need you to stop crying and be a man. Not to do with the flirting and all that. It's to do with you attributing that that is a thing that's. I'm imitating her. I disavow this language, of course. It's allowed by Christianity when you know it's not. That's the issue I have. You can have your own spin on Christianity, $1.99 but you have to admit that a what priest, is no motive? priest in the world would agree. God, with look at her finger. She's trembling. Look. You can say that you can wear up, but she's fucking... She's so te- You can have right your now. own spin on Christianity, $1.99 but you have to admit that she's toasted and she knows it. Priest, no motive? priest in the world oh God. would agree with you. Here, let me, let me zoom that in so you can see what I'm talking about here, okay? This is, this is, uh, this is panic. This is sheer, sheer, bloody panic. Okay, I need you to no. stop crying. Yes, no. you can The speak. thing is that I'm, I am upset with you about is not to do with the flirting and all that. It's to do with you attributing that that is a thing that's allowed by Christianity when you know it's not. That's the issue I have. You can have your own spin on Christianity, $1.99 but you have to admit that a what priest, is no motive? priest in the world, God, look at that. Say that you can work like, your marriage. I don't know how I convey that more than when I say I'm a Christian, but a lot of Christians would think that I'm heretical, and most Christians wouldn't agree with me. I literally don't even know hey, how I convey this to you more clearly. Did you, you just forget about that? Were you not time? there Why for it? Why is she trembling? Because she's on the spot and she has no idea what the hell she's talking about. Because she doesn't care about any of this. There's only one reason why she's even nominally a Christian. because It's because she thinks it adds depth to her character, to her online persona. She doesn't give a shit about any of this. Like, she's a pathological liar. And, and a fraud. And just a callous, manipulative piece of human garbage. She's not, she's not, a, uh, she's not a partisan of the, of the love-your-neighbor crowd. Not that most avowed Christians are, but like, say that it's part of your Christian values. You have to say that it's part of your non-Christian values. Have I ever said flirting is part of my Christian values? Yes, you did. No shot. A long time ago, you did. You said it, uh, you were Christian, and your denomination and church was. 
behind you with all. Is that true? Can somebody, if this exists, can somebody confirm this for me? All this. No. Are you talking That's about the I, Andrew? Are you talking? Well, wait. Are you talking about the Andrew Wilson debate? I'm assuming. Um, the one where you basically went into this the first time and said that your church was behind you and they were all for it. Okay. So that's why I keep asking what denomination you are because you specifically said that not only was I've it you, but it was your church said, as well. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not denominational. I don't care because I don't okay, care then, about consensus. The Jews rejected and killed no Jesus. The consensus of a religious body doesn't mean anything to me as far as spirituality and religiousness. I don't and, give a fuck what the consensus is of a religious institution because they're so yeah, fucked up that I they killed Jesus. Why the fuck would I care? But th those weren't Christians who killed Jesus. Those were actually Romans who killed Jesus and the people who condemned him having been given the decision by uh, by the Romans were what they would have been the Pharisees, right? That's all I wanted to hear is that you know it's not Christianly. That's all I wanted you to admit, and you finally oh. did. What you do you think that I'm saying with that? Because it sounds like what you're trying just to say, say is that I'm sinning. Just say what you say again. You no, know, you're bullshitting. You know, if there is a God, it's probably sinning, but you're you're bullshitting. You just said it. You say that you don't care what any of the religious can. She did anti-Semitism. Yeah, all the Jews conspired together. Yeah, exactly. Not like a specific group, not a specific leadership, da 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 da, da. just all of them. They hated Jesus because he told the truth. Census thinks. You you think Does that, you that mean that I don't care about my faith? I didn't say you didn't. I just said Pharisees and Sadducees, yeah. Believe it or not, like Jews are not just a uh, one thing. It's a lot of Jews. A lot of groups of Jews. A lot of disagreement. They wrote whole books about it. Should take a look. They're actually pretty interesting sometimes. That I said one Christianity isn't decided by consensus. It Except it literally is. That's where you get your fucking canon from, dude. Why do you think some books are included in the Bible and some aren't? Why do you think there are apocryphal texts and some not? Why do you think some people are qualified to be priests and some people aren't? It's because of an ordered consensus decision. Yes? Now, you have to like be of a particular stature to be like a meaningful part of that consensus. Like It's not just everybody's decision. It's not just like atheists or Jews or Muslims or etc. It's specifically like people who are ratified by church bodies to make these decisions. But like absolutely it's based on consensus. Absolutely. This is why, for example, like major, major parts of uh, the development of Christian doctrine are like councils of bleh and bleh and bleh and bleh. Because the councils reach consensus over issues as like, what is the church's stance on the divinity of Christ? What is the church's stance on the humanity of Christ, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. What is the church's stance on, okay, this book, you know, historically important, but is this God-breathed? God, you're going to show up for the meeting? No? All right. I guess we got to vote. Never has been, and it never should be. That's no, a terrible way for the faith to run. About no, I said that. Okay, I said, I don't care about it because the Jews rejected and killed Jesus. There has never and been a point in time where consensus right of religiosity is what determines whether or not something is valid in the faith. Yeah, that's actually completely wrong. Well, it's absolutely not the case that a simple broad consensus of the entire body of the church was involved in those decisions. Absolutely, every single time such a decision was made, it was the result of a consensus somewhere by doctors of the church or by priests or whatever, people who were in a position of, of elected authority to do so or moral or immoral. That's not how this shit has ever worked in Christianity, ever. The whole point of Protestantism is for people to decide and read for themselves without a church. That is not true. That is very not true. Um, the point of Protestantism, among very many other things, um, is that, oh God, here I'm gonna pull up the theses. The major point is that salvation is by way of faith alone, and your relationship with God is by is is personal, not specifically mediated by the the church structure itself. But it was not at all. It was not at all against church authority. There are um, there are like canons of scripture that are established by church fathers in under Protestantism. Yeah, exactly. The point of Protestantism is that Christian sects be separated from the Catholic Church. It's a protest. It's a unified protest initially. Okay, so you admit what is that Christian is, is decided by would do. God. Just to be clear, probably not. Actually, literally, it's decided by Romans, just to be clear. Uh, the name Christian was not applied to Christians by Christians. 
It's originally an appellation given by Romans. It's literally in the Bible, by the way. Look at this. Oh, hi, Mark. Acts 11, 26. So Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, with his 25. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large company of people. And in, Ant and in Antioch, the disciples were for the first time called Christians. So that's the first use of Christian in the Bible. I thought there was a specific one. Oh, weird. Well, point is, uh, it was not a Christian appellation. Initially, it was... Uh, it was by an external party. Not. That's probably not true. There are probably multiple other Christians that actually don't think flirting is that big of a deal because they recognize flirting by and large as like a pretty standard part of life. But would they say their denomination is behind them? I've never said that my denomination is behind them. You did originally. And no, now I did you're not. saying that it's not no, part on. of your Christian you're values so fucking at all. Wrong. You're I know kind exactly of going what off happened. To this. I never what actually happened said that. in the I conversation? Said it was and then, 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 blah, 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 blah. What happened in the conversation is that I said that this. What a vile creature. This is like my view. And I don't think flirting is inherently a sin. And Andrew Wilson said, okay. what denomination would agree with you? And then I said, I don't really care about denominations. And he said, well, fu come up with one. So I just came up with an example of a denomination that probably actually wouldn't care, which would be United, right? The United Church, probably there are n multiple sects within it that are, I think there's a number that are open to poly and open relationships. Okay. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're here's open my, to flirting. Here's my yeah, but there's a difference between being in a poly and open relationship. Well, being a poly and open relationship and being, um, let's say, uh, lascivious or something. United Church on flirting. Oh, that's unfortunate. I look up the uh, United Church and the uh, one of the first things that pops up is... Uh, oh, how poetic. Fate, it seems, is not without a sense of irony. <laughs> From the Bloris Street United Church, flirting with destiny. See, there is a God. All right, let's get the show on the road. Final right. question. Okay. Oh, final now question, you have a final though. question. Is... Now that I've completely well, redone everything go, that you said, you this will fucking my whole lying point. piece of shit. Okay, go ahead. This will prove my point. You have to answer yes or no, okay? No, I don't, actually. Is I'm, not, I'm not here to participate outside in your any of your stuff. Marriage, a I'm not here to participate. To do. I'm not here to participate in any of your stuff, madam. I am not participating with you anymore. God, you're such a piece of shit. Did she block him? Did she uh, exit him from the call? Yeah, she got fucking wrecked. What an absolute lying... Can't think of a PC word right now. I'm too tired. <sighs> what a dumb bitch. All right. Let's, uh, let's move on. She kicks him and he ret oh, does he return? When does he return? When does he return? Okay, we'll bring him back now. Okay, are you done? Wow, really? What an actual weasel. Are you ready to engage in good faith? Totally, I only have one more question. Is that- If it's, a, if it's again a begging the question- yes or no. All right, we're back. Okay, we'll bring him back in. God, what a weak person. I have to drop from the call, bring you back in. If you want to engage in good faith, I'm willing to talk to you. Me? Because if you're not willing to engage in any level of good faith, but trying to like pin you can't into answer a, question, a simple question, then. Yeah, for some Christians, yes it probably no. is. Uh, well, first of all, hold on. What do you mean by Christianly? That's that's loading a lot. What's Christianly okay, mean to you? Let's break. I think he probably means like, is, are the. Christians who would agree with you, such a cosmic scale minority, that it is unfeasible that you actually have any common ideological ground with any Christian that you've actually ever met. Um, and uh, isn't it more likely that you're just making stuff up as you go because none of this actually means anything to you and you're wearing it as a kind of window dressing because you lack a personality? That's, that's what my read is. I don't think she gives a shit about any of this. I think this is because she lacks depth as a person. This is like, um, she's, she's Christian the way like a, a goth is the, uh, the, the, the metal cross they wear on their, on their jackets. Would 99% sure. of Christians or more agree with you? Uh, or no. would disagree with you? 
ninety nine percent probably. I don't know if it's ninety nine, but probably it's, it's ninety nine, just flat out ninety nine. Yeah, sure. I'll just grant you a maj- like flirting outside of your marriage. Most non Christians would have an issue with that. Actually, the majority of Christians would okay. disagree with me. Now, if ninety nine out of a hundred Christians wouldn't do something, would it be Christianly? Um. So. Again, the answer is no. To... Just say well, no and bite no, the bullet. No, hold on. You're such a fucking moron. It okay, depends on what go, you mean. Say if no you mean by orthodox bullet. tradition, then sure, it wouldn't be Christianly. But just to be you clear, don't care about I'm more, I am more fixated on trying to be like Christ and do good in this world than to be Why fucking Why do you keep bringing Christian-y. up denomination when you don't because care about that's it? What... Because that's what Christ does. He lies about his credentials. That's a heretical statement. He lies about his credentials, and he uh, he calls uh, he calls people fucking retards, right? And fucking morons, and he uh, and he flirts with other people's wives, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, like here would be here would be the relevant verse. Matthew eighteen five to uh, to seven, I think. Whoever receives once a child in my name receives me, but whoever uh, causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a great millstone fastened around his neck and to be drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world for temptations to sin, for it is necessary that temptations come, but woe to the man by whom the temptation comes. And if your hand or your foot causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it from you. It is better for you to enter life maimed or lame than with two hands or two feet to be thrown into the eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and throw it from you. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into the hell of fire. So, like, the issue there would be, and this is where it gets weird, because we're talking specifically in the context of this erudite conversation with um, Christian attitudes towards flirting within a marriage, which is pretty obviously not kosher. Um, in in virtually every Christian sect that exists, barring very, very small exceptions. Um, but like, suppose you applied this now to flirting outside of marriage. Well, now it's, now it's very weird because now it's like, well, how do you even, how do you, like, there's, it's sort of baked into that as this idea that um, any sort of like courtship or even, getting involved with people prior to marriage is kind of impossible without sin at that point. So it only really makes sense in terms of like, this is where you get these, these weird attitudes of like, well, sex and sexuality are only for procreation and so on and so forth. You're asking for, you're asking no, if I'm the not. consensus I'm, you said, would it be Christian if most Christians would disagree with me? And just to be clear, I don't give a fuck what is Christianly because Christianly sometimes means treating your children like shit. Apparently, according to Andrew Wilson, it means getting involved in politics and using your faith to justify your bigotry to a lot of Christianly things. It's being a bag of shit. So just to be clear, I don't give a fuck what's Christianly. And if it's not Christianly, that doesn't okay, mean it's sinful or not. No, this doesn't prove your point about my point. anything. You don't care is what you, no, that point is. No, it doesn't prove that it at does. all. What this anyway, proves... I have to go to dinner, but I have uh, to go. Have my mommy's calling me. Um, <laughs> it was so nerve-wracking talking to your erudite, but I sure I'm glad that a... I got... Okay, she is the one who was literally just shaking because she couldn't handle being... Oh, it's, it's weird. Like, she's shaking uh, after being asked, like, really basic questions about sexual ethics. She could have just denied the conversation. That's the thing she could have done. That's a conversation. I would love to have a real conversation where you're not just memory, constantly chat bad you. You just have no I mean, background in theology. You have no idea what you're talking about. You just have no background in theology. <laughs> you have no background in theology. The vast majority of Christians rejected Christ. The fact that really? you have to rely on religious litmus tests just begs the immaturity of, of like your understanding of religious lip my dude my dude that's what christianity is you shall know them by their fruits i mean i don't understand how any of that applies to me and doesn't apply to you because you're asking more. me litmus tests you're asking me if i'm christianly and you're so asking me if test christians would Christ- agree with me what the, the litmus test about whether or not I'm being a good Christian in and of itself. Be- You're not even a good person, let alone a good Christian. It gets affected. It wasn't a no litmus understanding test. Of it's exegesis, a litmus test for flirting outside the marriage. 
which it's by the way you've changed the, marriage, the definition not your of your multiple times no it was a litmus test as far as denominations it was a litmus test about consensus the, the and then you kept on you kept on right trying now. to pin me with specific words by only like selecting one word and then fixating on it which to be clear is super bad faith i know that you came in right. to be bad faith which is you belied some suggestion of like maybe i'd be willing to have a good conversation but obviously you had no intention in doing that right that's clear from this conversation no, the whole and, point is is that you can't answer a simple question you can't answer a simple up. question about faith you don't even know how to understand theology the define exegesis for me go ahead bite the bullet. What's ex exegesis exegesis is when jesus enters into a second form and grows an adamantium skeleton with which he destroys the sinful with giant armored mechanical hydraulic claws that's exegesis exegesis has to do with <laughs> the interpretation of a text. We do exegesis in all sorts of fields besides theology. Exegesis. Right what's now, exegesis? then you look either descendant. What's exegesis? Do you, do you know what that is? What's exegesis? Bullet, Can you bite the bullet like that being idiot. according to consensus isn't what faith is? Would you agree That's with that? That's my whole point. Do you think appealing to consensus is what faith and being a Christian is? Religious consensus has nothing to do with appealing to me. I don't know why she's saying the word exegesis. She's not deriving any of this from a scriptural text, clearly. She hasn't cited it once. Census. Oh, she's not doing exegesis. I don't know if you <laughs> understand that, but I don't think you do, and that's why you're having such a hard time understanding what I'm saying. Yeah, that's why. Again, can you define exegesis for me? Can you define? Well, it doesn't matter what I can define or not. It matters oh, okay. if... Notice she hasn't defined exegesis herself here. I'm just I'm wondering if we're actually going to get an answer to that. I mean, if you really want it doesn't to matter. It doesn't matter to understand these things. things. I would, but yeah. The, but the real problem is is that I don't I don't know if she understands what that word means. I haven't actually seen evidence that she does. She hasn't actually explained it yet. Maybe she will. We'll you see. Can't tell me the real problem. The yes or no answer. But I feel like this is when she was asking Chud, are you not familiar with the uh what what was the language she used? It was weird. Are you not familiar with the uh steps of hypothesis generation or something? It's like hypothesis generation. You can generate hypotheses by by many by many different methods by many different steps. Um, he absolutely is familiar with hypothesis generation. He probably isn't familiar with it in this weird, highly specific. I am pretty sure made up on the fly corporate speak version of it. But like, like okay, so. Here's here's a here's a little pro tip, Kyla. Pro tip for you, okay? So you're not laughed at by professionals because just so you know, the ones that are aware of you, that are aware of your performance on here, they do, they laugh at you. If you, as someone who is more learned, say, "Do you know what this word means?" It is now on you immediately following that. If they say, "I don't know," you say, "Well, it means this," and the reason why I'm highlighting this is to demonstrate a lack of familiar familiarity with this domain of thinking, which would which would yield you this pertinent information to this conversation. And this is why you're wrong, and or this is why this conversation as it is being had cannot proceed. Just going, oh, oh, you're bad faith. Do you know what exegesis is? Do you know what ecumenicism is? Do you know what viral colloquial p p Protestant thesioidism is? Are you are you aware of the teachings of Cathal? Who are Seely? Bet you don't even know. If flirting outside your marriage is a Christianly thing to do, and it's a yes or no answer, and the answer is no, but you can never actually admit that because once you do, well, every other it, thing you say I've about this, literally answered that question twice now for you. You're just upsetty spaghetti no, because you were looking you for it to be a sick it. clip you bite down. About God, it's, what's uh? Every time she does those, like you're just upsetty spaghetti. I, every time she does things like that, I just think of the uh, the woman from Misery. You're a dirty bird. Absolutely. I've said already that if by Christianly you mean just consensus of Christians would or would not think this way, I've already bit all of those bullets. I've said from the very beginning, yeah, and I've we said before that. we had this conversation, but we don't agree because what you're doing is a bad faith thing where you take the word no, Christianly, which we in our agree. dynamic means what the bulk of Christians do, and you're turning it a little bit into what is moral within the faith itself. That's what you're- That's specifically not moral within the faith itself. It's inconceivable that flirting within a marriage is moral within the faith itself. I don't know what doctrine you could possibly refer to to say that that's not the case. If you're eschewing all doctrine, you're just saying like, oh, 
well, in uh, 2023 or 2024, I guess, um, it's just cool to self-identify as Christian regardless of what you actually believe. I mean, that's a position, but that's not what she's doing. Trying to do. You're trying to like You're going use this so word far for off two... these random paths that don't. These mean are not a random try to get out of it. Okay, I don't know how to slow down more for you to understand. Do you? You physically can't slow down more for anybody to understand. Like you, you, you can't. You can't. You're as slow as they come. You know what I mean there, when I say you don't need to start. What does Christianly mean? Stuff. I'm not screaming. It's basically What's Christianly you, you mean? told me. You just told me that it's not Christianly, so you can't attribute it to What's Christianly the Christian mean? faith. That's Define all I came me. in here to prove to you, and you admitted it. Define it for me. Like. That which is characteristic of Christian belief. That's what he means. Well done. Anyway, I really do have to go, but... Uh, oh, I'll you have to back. go now? Oh, you have to go months. now. I, I booted you from the call three, four times, but you have to go now. Fly, 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 little starling. Fly, fly, fly. Chris Noxel, thank you for the 50 RON, whatever that means. Thank you for the content, Mr. President. Erudite is a cringe show. May should be a warning to all pop psychology idiots. Uh, most pop psychology idiots haven't lied about the credentials. Calling, we can have a better uh, conversation. Uh, sure, no, if you could define not, any uh, of your you words and actually come with a willing... She has not actually defined exegesis yet. I would be very surprised if she actually knows what that word means. I really would be. Getting us to engage, then we can definitely what talk word? again. Christianly? You don't know what Christianly you means? You still haven't engaged with what Christianly is. Of, what do you think it means? Well, I would normally take the... Um, general definition that most people use would be Christianity, you know, the belief and teachings of Jesus of Nazareth. So Christian, you are uh, using it in a dual way. Do you understand what I mean when I say you're using no, Christianly in a I, dual way? Okay, that's fine. You didn't so, even let me finish describing Okay, I told maybe you, you can Christianity that. was. No, Christianly, Christianly is a, a quality characteristic of Christianity. And it actually occurs in, uh, it's actually noted in the dictionary, oddly enough. Christianly in American English, like a Christian, Christian-like. As an adverb, in a Christian manner. You could just say Christian. I think that it's probably redundant on that word. Where do those uh, qualities come from? The Bible. And that's all, that's okay. all I'm saying. Is Would that you say you that somebody who's being Christianly is doing right the by their faith? Would you say that somebody who's being Christianly is doing right by their faith, in your opinion, when you say the word Christianly? I don't know what right by your faith means. Um, majority of the time. I mean, by their okay. faith, they could, they could be bad in other ways. Sure, they could be bad in other ways, but obviously, if we're saying somebody's Christianly, we probably mean, like, they're uprightly in their faith, right? I'm just waiting for when Destiny and Erudite have a falling out. I don't think Erudite has the, um... I think, I think Erudite knows who butters her bread. I don't think Erudite's ever going to fall out with Destiny. I could see Destiny being tired of her, though. Not necessarily. But I could see where you're coming from with that. Well, obviously, like if I say somebody's Christianly obviously. and I'm pointing to somebody like actively raping a child, you'd be like, mm, I don't know if that's the most Christianly moment, right? I would say that, yeah, obviously. Okay. Right. So obviously, Christianly, in the way most people use the word, has some level of moral implication towards the faith. Would you agree with that? Yep. Okay. So the issue is that when you asked me your litmus test of, do you think flirting outside your relationship is Christianly? I said, well, what exactly do you mean by Christianly? And your answer to that was the majority of Christians wouldn't do it or wouldn't think it's a good thing to do. And then I said, no, of course they wouldn't agree with that. Of course they would not think it's hey, Christianly. So there's no disagreement. But the issue is that what you did is you took Christianly in our little litmus test, which meant would Christians themselves agree to do it, and you turned it into Christianly abiding by good moral conduct within the faith. This is what's bad faith about this question, is you're swapping out the same word for two different meanings. In one case, when I'm answering it, it's amoral, and in the other case, when you're weaponizing against me, it becomes moral. She'd sooner fall out with her husband than Destiny if we're being real. Yeah, I'd be nervous if I were Nick. I'm not going to lie. I'd be very, very nervous. This is what I'm saying is bad faith. Maybe you're not doing it on purpose. It's possible that you're... Yeah. Here, a uh, hot take, guys. Um, flirting with other people while you're in a marriage, unless this is part of an explicit agreement, even outside of Christianity, probably a bad thing. Probably not something you should do. Um, you're, you're encouraging... Uh, you're, you're encouraging... Disloyalty on your part from a relationship that you haven't formally ended. Unless you're actually in a specific situation where you're in agreement, like, yeah, you're going to go and flirt with other people and da da da, and you're cool with this. 
that's 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 more specific, but that that's like iffy by secular standards. Because just because you're secular doesn't mean suddenly like all these things like marriage and relationships have no have no weight or value. You get into like Christian territory, it's like all bets are off. Like here's a question. If you're uh, if you're behaving to a standard that's beneath the average pagan or secularist or atheist, what the fuck is your Christianity for? Why are you identifying that way? You're an embarrassment to them. They're not meaning to do this on purpose, but to be clear, it is... Oh, and there you go. Yeah, Brooks is not entirely... Entirely untrue. It's inherently bad faith to do this, and I can't engage with it because then it means that I'm answering a question that you're not even talking about. Because if Christianly is the moral term, then you have to ask your litmus test according to moral terms. Do I think it is Christianly, or more importantly, do I think it's sinful to do actually, outside your marriage? Absolutely. Actually, actually, that is the definition of an ethical term. Namely, is this um, is this representative of the customs and standards of this group? Right? It's literally what the ethical means. It's what the moral means. It refers to custom. Is this customary of these people? If it's not, then you're not Christianly. You have unchristianly characteristics and attitudes and behaviors. That's what that means. Absolutely not. 100% I do not believe it is a sin. Unless that person no. themselves thinks it's a sin. Then it kind of would be a sin. But Okay, so it... You're saying that it is Christianly then? Nope. That's what you just said. You just said it wouldn't be a sin. Nope. Again, what does Christianly mean when you're now saying it is Christianly? Because if you're going to just keep earlier in this conversation, swapping you words, said, it doesn't work. Earlier, like 10 minutes ago, you said that no Christian would agree with you. And now you're saying that's Christian. You keep going back and forth. The, the, anyway, I'm not going it, back and forth. You're regardless, using multiple definitions for say, the same word. So when you use the definition of moral weight, right, that's different than when you're saying consensus amongst the group. And so when you're talking about consensus, I would bite that bullet and agree that most Christians would not agree with me. There is no consensus. Well, then where are you that. getting it when from? You're talking about where are you getting it from then? Like you, we've had no reference to any doctrine or scriptural passage whatsoever this entire conversation. It sounds like she's just making it up. About things like whether it's morally impugning. Well, now I don't have to bite oh my bullet God. and okay. I don't anyway, think it's My last statement is going to be that you admit in this conversation it wouldn't be a and also we should just do. use the word sinful in the beginning place because it's and so much you can't easier. attribute flirting outside your marriage to christianity do you think that flirting outside your marriage prove, is a sin what you agree. do you anyway, think do you think Goodbye. do you think flirting right. outside okay, your marriage outside your, oh you gotta run away now hmm. yes yes it is according to your bible it is you can't even get to the point because you're doing two things you're either lusting after somebody else yourself and that's the motivation for flir for flirting or you're tempting somebody else to do that, in which case you're doing something way worse, even like unequivocally. No, good one. I can, I can do you want to answer the question? Well, you have, have to, to run the moment that we're like getting you out of being bad faith. You cut him from the call multiple times when he was pressing you because you couldn't take the heat, bitch. You do not get to, uh, you do not get to accuse this person of running. You're trying to like again. Okay, do you think flirting outside your marriage is inherently a sin? Yes. Okay, okay, I, have to go. I disagree with you. Yeah, but you have to disagree with him because you'll do it anyways, right? Because your your husband is just a pathetic piece of property that you own. Don't call her a bitch. No, I will. I'm sorry. <laughs> you still need to call. <laughs> I'm gonna call Destiny a bitch. I'm absolutely gonna call her a bitch. All right, I know you guys might have big feelings, but uh, let's not be like too savage towards him in the chat. Just ignore him for the most part. You were just calling him a retard. Her husband is on Titter. Titter. Her husband is on Tinder. Pardon me. Good for him. Good for him. Who was the caller? I wouldn't mind chatting with him at some point. This is an admittedly bizarre defense from NSC, but I think she's just a vibes cultural Christian, but has a thing about looking smart, so it's just BSing her way through this as if she knows anything. You want to know what I think? I think that uh, her earliest work was uh, at a company called Adiera, or a group called Adiera, which was a uh, a, a faith-based uh, addictions counseling center. And I think this is where she learned part of her grift. And I think uh, this is, I think pretending to be Christian was an important part of getting that job. 
and I think she's carried with it. I I I don't think I don't think she believes any of this shit. I'd be very surprised if she even comes from a religious household. Um, I think she's just a charlatan through and through at every single level. What a goon! What a buffoon! Even what a clown! What a troglodyte! What a boob!